Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, N5 BSB, and today I got in the uh, Micro PA100. Uh, I ordered it off of AliExpress, and it took about, uh, I ordered on March 29th, and it arrived on, uh, today is April the 14th. The box, just a little bit banged up but uh, not too terribly bad so uh, I'm not a professional youtuber and I'm not into all that fancy editing stuff so I'm going to break this up into some segments and um, hopefully this will be useful uh, there's there's uh, another guy um, I forget his call sign right now um, Kurt uh, he's got a much better video but I'm going to see what I can do so I'm basically want to do an unboxing I'm going to do size comparisons between this one and the Micro PA50 Plus, uh, some measurements, weight, um, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to hook it up and uh, do some actual uh, measurements uh, with a dummy load and uh, kind of see where we're at. So uh, be back in a minute when I get this box unsealed. All right, so here we go. Unboxing the Micro PA 100 so there's a little card in here takes you to the Facebook group and also for the manual and firmware upgrade page and let's see here power cable I actually would have thought this would have been a little bit heavier cable. Looks the same size as the one for the Micro PA50. Uh, so let's uh, see if I can get this out with one hand. And that's all is in the box. So I'm going to get it uh, unsealed here. It's taped up pretty good. And then I'm going to come back and we'll get some measurements, some weight, and comparison with the uh, Micro PA50. Be back in a minute. Okay, so... Let's take a look at some measurements here. It is about five inches in width. Let me see if I can get it. It's about seven and a quarter, a little over seven and a quarter. Um, if you if you count the um, the SO239 protrusion, it's right at 8 inches overall from end to end. And let's see, on the um, the height is uh, 2 inches. It's 2 inches tall. So 5 by, say, 7 and a, and a quarter by 2. And let's just out of, for comparison, let's... Uh, Check out the uh, Micro PA 50 Plus. About three and a half by about five and three quarters. And it's about an inch and a half tall. So kind of gives you an idea. Let's check the weight. Get my scale up here. Let's see what the what the weight is. Okay, we're zeroed out there. Two pounds three point eight ounces. On the Micro PA 100, one pound five ounces on the 
PA 50 plus so that kind of gives you an idea of um, the size and the weight comparison so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead I, one thing I did notice on mine is I'm missing a couple of feet they only put two feet on here which uh, I've got some of these so not a, not a huge deal but uh, just just one thing I noticed so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up check inside make sure there's nothing loose or anything before we uh, start testing be back in a minute okay uh, not a lot to see in here uh, it's um, obviously it's got uh, four MOSFETs instead of two uh, on the previous version um, if you are going to take this apart one little uh, note when you take the top cover off, um, you can just loosen up these uh, two front screws here on the bottom. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them up just a little bit, and it'll give this front just a little bit of uh, clearance here, and you can just slide this cover back and then take it off. That way you don't have to take it completely off. I just wanted to do a, a once-over in here just to make sure nothing... Um, came unplugged make sure the fan you know there's no obvious glaring you know issues and it doesn't look like there is so i'm going to put it back together and then we're going to uh, start uh, doing some testing be back in a minute all right we're back and going to do a little bit of testing here so uh, i've set it up for fm and um you're going to see uh, the display is not going to always show good because of the refresh rate. Uh, but uh, anyway, so we got, we're on uh, 80 meters. We're going to key it up. And that is with three watts of drive. And the, um, the input SWR is pretty good on that. So let's go up to 40 meters, still on uh, FM, and I think we'll see how much it comes out to be, about 85, well, I'll bump the power up uh, just a little bit here think we can get all the way to five watts yeah, a little bit a little bit much but let's go up to 10 meters still on five watts of drive About 95 watts and I'm on this dummy load here input is uh, fine so now we're on um, 20 meters about 95 and a half watts 95 95 and a half Input tune is good. Uh, let's try 17 meters. Still 5 watts of drive. 98. Input tune is still good. Sorry, move the camera off of you. Uh, let's try... 15 meters. Eighty six watts. Input tune is good. Twelve meters. <clears throat> Ninety four and a half. Input tune's a little bit higher, but it's still like 1.7, 1 1.8. Uh, uh, 
Uh, 20, uh, 10 meters. Still 5 watts. About 70 watts out. And the input's about 1.8 on uh, 10 meters. So, uh, it's working as it should. And um, I would say the fan, in my honest opinion, I believe it's just a tad bit louder than the PA50, which um, I may be wrong. I'd have to put them side by side to confirm that. But overall, it seems to be uh, working just fine. Let me put this in bypass and we're on five watts it's only showing about 4.1 so anyway um i'll come back and give my final thoughts on it um in just a minute I wanted to do one more little test here uh, to show the current draw. And uh, let me unplug my radio so it's not pulling any power at all. And we're just going to key it up at 5 watts. 75 out, about 12.5 amps, 12.5 amps. Now this power supply is pulling down. You see it's 11.2 volts. And you know, it's uh 12.5 volts. So it's it's not as high as this other one that I was using a while ago. That one doesn't have a current meter on it. I switched over to this one, but this one's going through a uh a distribution panel and it's got some loss in it. Uh, but, uh, I think around 16 amps is probably what you're looking at as far as current draw at the full, you know, hundred Watts. Um, now I probably wouldn't never run it like that. So let's just, uh, turn the power down, um, just to see what it might draw at about 30 you know, that's probably about the most I would probably run it at. 30 watts at about 8 amps. It's probably where I would normally run it. So anyway, uh, uh, that's uh, kind of my little video on it. Um, I think it's well constructed. Um, I, I've been pleased with the... Uh, micro PA 50 plus and I think I'll be happy with this one as well. It came with version software uh, let's see here 2.95 and I believe there's a newer version out so I may need to update the firmware on it but uh, I don't believe it changed a whole lot so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something good out of it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll see if I can get back to you. I did all this on a dummy load because I didn't want any interference from the antenna to play a factor. And, you know, I uh, that's about really all I have to add. Um, I'll probably do some more videos. I'll probably take it out in the field and do some uh, testing with it and uh, everything else. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.